Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is 999 Revision Emergency. Today we will be covering Chapter 2.2, Relative Mass. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to define relative isotopic mass, define relative atomic mass, understand how mass spectrometry can help us calculate relative isotopic mass, Calculate relative atomic mass. In chemistry, we use mass in a variety of calculations. However, the mass of an atom is so tiny that the standard units aren't applicable. We tend to compare the mass of atoms to the mass of one twelfth of a carbon atom, approximately the mass of a proton or a neutron. In chapter 2.1, you learn that isotopes are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. The relative isotopic mass is the mass of an isotope relative to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon-12. You will need to know this definition and may be asked to repeat it in an exam. Most elements contain a mixture of isotopes with different isotopic masses. Relative atomic mass is essentially an average of all of these isotopic masses. The correct definition that you do need to know is that relative atomic mass, also known as AR, is the weighted mean mass of an atom of an element relative to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon-12. It is quite a long definition. Mass spectrometry can be used to determine the relative isotopic masses and relative abundances. You are not expected to understand how the mass spectrometer works. A mass spectrometer produces graph much like this one. It gives us the mass of each isotope found in the sample and their percentage abundance. We can use the percentage abundances to calculate relative atomic mass. You may have done this at GCSE. First, we multiply each percentage abundance by their atomic mass. Then, we add all of these together. You may have 2, 3 or 4. Finally, you divide by 100. This is given in the formula at the top of the page. An example is given below. Calculate the relative atomic mass for a sample containing 90% of nitrogen-14 and 10% of nitrogen-15. So first we multiply the percentage abundance by the isotopic mass, 90 times 14. Then we add this to the next percentage abundance times by the isotopic mass, so 10 times 15. We finally divide by 100. This gives you a relative atomic mass of 14.1. Your turn. Here is a bit of a harder question. You are given four isotopes of magnesium. Calculate the relative atomic mass. You should get an answer of 24.29.